Welcome to my channel. I hope you like and subscribe and thank you so much for watching. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet this little hat for baby boys and girls between three and six months old. Now in this same tutorial, I'm going to share with you standard size measurements so that you can make this little hat for any size, any age. So make sure to continue watching. Now you're going to need a total of 37 grams of yarn. I used DK weight, but you can use any yarn with any hook size. Just follow the same pattern and the measurements that I'm going to provide you with here in this tutorial. Now, as always, if you prefer a written pattern, check out my Etsy shop. I'll leave the link to my Etsy shop in the information box below. Thank you so much for your support. Now let's get started and thank you so much for watching. To crochet this hat, I'll be using this 3.5 millimeter crochet hook and today I'm using this DK weight yarn. You can also use any number three or A ply and actually you can use any yarn weight with any hook size. We're going to be following some standard size measurements. These are the two measurements that we're going to need. First, we're going to need the width of the crown and then we're going to continue for the total length of the hat. So if you want to take a screenshot of this these are the two measurements that we're going to need we don't need this head circumference measurement this is for a different uh, design that's when you start from the bottom up um, we're going to start from the top of the head down so to begin here I'm going to make a magic circle so hold the yarn like this wrap it around two fingers hold it insert your hook through this loop here and grab a loop Here's the magic circle. Now we're going to chain two. These two chains will never count as a stitch from here on. Now inside this circle here, we're going to make a total of 12 double crochets. So yarn over, insert your hook, grab a loop, take two loops off, take two loops off. Here's the first double crochet. I'm going to continue like this until I have 12 double crochets. So continue. Let's make these 12 double crochets and then I'll come back and show you what we need to do next. I finished making these 12 double crochets. Now all you have to do is just pull this string here and your magic circle is going to close. Now after we're done, you can just weave this end all around so that it's more secured. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to go to the top of the first double crochet, not the chains. Go on top of the first double crochet here and join with a slip stitch. And here's the first row with 12 double crochets. Now for the second row, I'm going to chain two and right into this first double crochet, which is the same one that we joined to, make a double crochet. Now into this first double crochet, which is the same one that we did this first double crochet on top, I'm going to work a front post double crochet. Now on top of the next double crochet, which is the second double crochet here, make a double crochet and also make a front post double crochet. Again, on top of the next, make a double crochet and a front post double crochet. Here we're increasing and at the same time we're working these front post double crochets. So again, on top of the next, make a double crochet and into this same, make a front post double crochet. So continue like this all around. At the end of this second row, we're going to have 24 double crochets. We're going to have 12 regular double crochets and we're going to have 12 front post double crochets. Continue on each at the end of this second row. I'm here at the end of the second row. At the end of this row, I have a total of 24 stitches. I have 12 front post double crochets and I have 12 regular double crochets, not including the two chains. Now to finish, we're going to go on top of the first double crochet, not the chains, and join with a slip stitch. And this is how I finish the second row with a total of 24 stitches. Now from here on, the front post stitches will always remain the same. We're always going to have 12. So for the third row here, chain two. Now we have the first two double crochets. On top of this first double crochet, which is the same one that we joined to, make a double crochet. Now we have the next double crochet, which is a front post double crochet, make a double crochet on top and make a front post double crochet into this first front post stitch there. 
again we have the next two double crochets we're going to make a double crochet into this one and a double crochet into the front post and then also make the front post double crochet so make a double crochet on top of this next one a double crochet on top of the front post and make your front post double crochet the front post double crochets will always remain the same while we make the circle here again we have the next double crochet make a double crochet we have the front post make a double crochet on top and a front post double crochet one more time we have the next two we have a regular double crochet and a front post so on top of the double crochet make a double crochet on top of the front post make a double crochet and into the front post also make a front post double crochet and this is how i'm going to continue all around at the end of this third row i'm going to have 36 double crochets i'm going to have 24 regular double crochets and 12 front post double crochets continue i'll meet you at the end of this third row i'm here at the end of this third row here's my last stitch it's a front post double crochet i have a total of 36 stitches here at the end of this third row i have 12 front post double crochets and i have 24 regular double crochets now to finish go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch now for row four i'm going to chain two now we have these three stitches we have two regular double crochets and one front post double crochet here i'm going to make one double crochet on each one of these stitches so beginning on top of the first one which is the same one that we joined to make your first double crochet on top of the next one make a double crochet and on top of the third which is the front post make a double crochet here are my three double crochets now don't forget to make the front post double crochet as well this is how we're going to continue here so again we have the next three stitches two regular double crochets and one front post i'm going to make a double crochet on top of each one and i'm also going to make my front post double crochet again we have the next three make a double crochet on each one and a front post double crochet one more time we have the next three stitches make a double crochet on top of each one and a front post double crochet now this is how you're going to continue for the rest of the fourth row remember that the front post stitches always remain the same we're always going to have 12. at the end of this fourth row i'm going to have 48 double crochets i'm going to have 12 front post double crochets and 36 regular double crochets continue like this to the end of this fourth row i'm here at the end of the fourth row i have a total of 48 stitches i have 36 regular double crochets and i have 12 of these front post double crochets to finish this fourth row just go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch now we're going to measure this we're going to start to measure this to make sure we are on track with the measurement this here right now it's about eight almost eight and a half centimeters which is a little bit less than three and a half inches if you're making this for a premature baby you have the measurement that you need because for preemie it needs to be between 7.5 centimeters to nine centimeters so this here is perfect you would just continue with the rest and you would just forward the video to the section where i continue and stop decreasing here we're going to continue now for the fifth row i'm going to chain two and here we have the next four stitches we have the front post and three regular double crochets we're going to make one double crochet on each one of these stitches so beginning with this first one i'm going to make the first double crochet into the next that's two three and four now make your front post double crochet and do the same thing for the next four 
make one double crochet on top of each one one two three four and then your front post double crochet one more time make one double crochet into the next four one two three four and make your front post double crochet this is how you're going to continue for the fifth row at the end of this row you're going to have a total of 60 stitches we're going to have 12 front post double crochets and then 48 double crochets continue on each at the end of this fifth row I'm here at the end of the fifth row. I have a total of 60 double crochets. I have 12 front post double crochets and I have 48 regular double crochets. Now to finish this row, go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now I'm going to continue and make one more row. I still need to uh, get to the measurement that I need for three to six months. So I think one more row will do it. So here for row six, I'm going to chain two. And here I have the next five stitches. We have four regular double crochets and one front post. So into these next five, I'm going to make one double crochet. So beginning on top of the first double crochet, make a double crochet, that's one, on top of the next, that's two, on top of the next, that's three, on top of the next, that's four, and on top of the next, which is the front post, make your fifth double crochet. So now make a front post double crochet. Again, on top of the next five, make a double crochet. One, two, three, four, five, and then a front post double crochet. Again, on top of the next five, make one double crochet. That's one, two, three, four, five, and then a front post double crochet. Continue like this for this sixth row. At the end of this row, we're going to have 72 stitches, 12 front post double crochets, and 60 regular double crochets. I'm here at the end of the sixth row. At the end of this row, I have 72 stitches. I have 12 front post double crochets and I have 60 regular double crochets. And if you notice, I decided to change yarn color. I'm going to make this little hat in gray. Now I measure this and I have the measurement that I need for three to six months, which is 12.5 centimeters, which is a little bit less than five inches. So based on my measurements here for the width of the crown, I have the measurement that I need. So now we're going to continue with the total length. The total length needs to be about 15 centimeters or about six inches. Now we're going to continue until I have about an inch and a half or about three centimeters from the total length so that we can start to shape the brim of the hat. And this is going to be the same for all sizes if you're making this for a bigger size where you need to continue and make the circle bigger you would just continue with the same sequence for example for the seventh row you would need to make let's see two four six double crochets and then a front post double crochets and then again six double crochets and then a front post double crochet that way you're increasing 12 more stitches at the end of that row and then for row eight you would do seven double crochets and then a front post double crochet until you have the measurement that you need for me i have the measurement that i need so i'm going to now continue and just work rows so to begin here i'm going to chain two this is going to be row seven so right into this same stitch here make a double crochet a double crochet into the next that's two three four five now the next stitch here is the front post so i'm just going to make a front post double crochet again i'm going to make five double crochets and a front post double crochet into the next. And this is how I'm going to continue for the rest of the seventh row. Make five double crochets and then a front post double crochet. So continue and I'll meet you at the end of this seventh row. 
I'm here at the end of the seventh row. In this row, we did not increase. I have a total of 72 double crochets. I have 12 front post double crochets and then 60 regular double crochets. To finish, go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now, from here on, this is the row that we're going to repeat. So for row eight, I'm going to chain two and beginning right on top of this first double crochet, I'm going to make my first double crochet. And then I'm going to make a double crochet into the next four. There, so now I have five double crochets. The two chains, remember, do not count. So that's two, four, five, and then a front post double crochet. Again, I'm going to make five double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and into the next, a front post double crochet. And that's how you're going to continue for the rest of this row. To, to finish, you're just going to go here on top of the first double crochet, make a slip stitch, chain two, and then repeat the same thing until you have the measurement that you need for your hat. Minus three centimeters or about an inch and a half so that we can start making the brim. And remember, at the end of each row, you're always going to have 72 stitches. I finished making this part. I have done a total of 12 rows. As it is, it's measuring about 12 centimeters, which is about 4.7 seven five inches now I left about three centimeters or about an inch and a half from the total height to continue here with the brim so this part here is the same for all sizes to do the brim I'm going to chain one here we have the first double crochet which is the same one that we joined to and I'm going to start here with a front post half double crochet now the next one back post half double crochet front post half double crochet into the next back post and so on this is how i'm going to continue for the rest of this 13th row just alternating between a front post and a back post half double crochet at the end of this row i'm going to have 72 half double crochets so continue and i'll meet you at the end I'm here at the end of row 13. This is where I did front post and back post half double crochets. My last stitch here is a back post. To finish this row, you're just going to go on top of the first half double crochet and join with a slip stitch. Now for rows 14, 15, and 16, we're going to repeat the exact same thing. We're going to make front post and back post half double crochets. So to begin here, we're going to chain one, and then you're going to work these stitches exactly how they are. This first one is a front post, so make a front post half double crochet. The next one, back post half double crochet, front post half double crochet, and so on. This is how you're going to continue for row 14. When you finish here, you're going to join to the beginning with a slip stitch, chain one, and then repeat the same thing. Continue like this. Let's finish these last three rows, and then I'll come back and show you the finished hat. I finished making the brim here at the end of row 16. I just joined to the beginning with a slip stitch, cut my yarn, and passed my yarn through that last loop. And this little hat here is all done, and this is how it looks. Now, the final measurement from the top to the bottom here, it's measuring exactly 15 centimeters, which is a little less than 6 inches. So we have our little hat. Let's try it on this little model here. Now, his head size here is for 3 to 6 months, so let's see how this fits. And that's how it looks. It's absolutely beautiful. Now you can easily make this little hat from a preemie size and up to an adult extra large size using the measurements that I provided you with here in this tutorial. Just follow the same pattern here and you'll be able to make your hat for any size, any age. You can even do a mommy and daddy hat to match baby's hat as well. Now, you're going to need a total of about 37 grams of yarn. I used DK weight. You can use any yarn with any hook size. Just follow the measurements. Okay, so this was today's tutorial. I hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.